go to projects and here you change the title and the URL change the featured image that's the preview image of the project I'm uploading some images here. Now let's place some images. Just hit shift and click multiple images and then insert them, click at the plus or minus buttons to resize them. Update to publish that page. Now go to pages and in here we are going to create a front page. Going to write a text here using the text element. Insert a link. Now when we visit the website, there is this prompt that says we need to create a menu. And I create a menu and the prompt goes away. We go to customize. We set the front page to the page we just created. We change the site title. And we hide the menu bar. Okay, in layer options, web fonts, I'm uploading a cool web font by Blazetype. Check them out on blazetype.eu, that's their website. These are our partners. Okay, so in text formats, we use the font that we just uploaded. We change the font size. Okay, in gridder defaults, we change the defaults of the gridder, so we have different values for row gutter, column gutter, frame for all of our pages. And this way especially there's going to be a bit more space at the top. Now there's more space at the top. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we will create lots of projects so we fill up our website and I'm just going to speed this one up.
While creating the projects, I make sure to use some tags so this way we can later filter the projects by tags. Okay, so now I'm done creating the projects and now we are going to insert a thumbnail grid element. I'm showing the tag filter and this way we can filter the thumbnails by tag. There we go. The thumbnail grid is on our front page. We can filter the projects by their tags. I'm going to create a footer. The footer con contains a link to the next project. And the footer will contain a social media icons element with icons that are linked to my social media. In Layer Options Footers, I will set the page we just created as the footer for all projects. Now we see the footer here. Now I'm creating an about page. And for the text, we right click it and use set text and pixel width. This way, the text won't be too wide on bigger screens. In Appearance menus, I'm adding the About menu point to the menu. In Customize, I'm moving the side title to the left 
and I'm moving the menu to the right. Okay, let's look at the mobile version. We have this mobile menu there, but I want the mobile menu to look differently. So again, and customize, I go to mobile. I use a different menu style. I hide the menu bar. I use a different space, space top, 100 pixels. <clears throat> and I set the font size of the side title to 15 pixels. So this way it's the same size as the menu point. And that's it, our simple portfolio website is done. You can do much more, just go to lightheam.com documentation.